So this question obviously poses a lot of risk with your answer. And it would be something along the lines of what's your greatest weakness or what's, what's a weakness of yours we need to be aware of. The question there is a very tricky one to answer. And it's a question more so that employers like rather than what's your um, biggest strength. They like those sorts of questions um, because it has varied answers and they pin a lot of, you know, should we hire this person on those types of questions, believe it or not. So the old school method was to actually um, spin a weakness into a positive, which most employers don't actually like. And the question will be, what's your biggest weakness? And a lot of people would say, oh, I'm too hardworking and, you know, it's, you know, I end up being, you know, dedicating too much to my work. I end up working loads and um, something like that won't really have much substance to the answer. And employers see straight through it. They're not fools. They've hired tons of people over their time. They've been managers. They've been directors. And you don't want to answer the question like that. You want something that's going to really stand out. Now, don't if you feel comfortable to make a negative into a positive, that's fine. As long as you evidence your answer. Now, what I mean by that evidence in your answer you could say look I work very tight to deadlines I get very stressed so I'm, I'm you know working weekends as well and um, just to make sure I meet deadlines on the project now you can answer it like that if you like and give an example of so but the way I would answer the question is slightly different now I would be very honest in your answer obviously do not talk about something that's hugely negative don't say oh I have a lot of sick days and you know I'm trying to work on that what you want to do is you want to answer the question along the lines of that your biggest weakness would be something that everyone suffers from and they can relate to so if it's a job that's you know involves public speaking you can talk about that so you can talk about two years ago I would be too nervous to actually be a public speaker however in the weekends, I went up to meet up groups, networking groups, and I was able to actually talk in front of, you know, groups of 40 and 30 people, which I think I've improved on. And um, it is a weakness of mine, um, but I'm slowly working on it. So what it does, it shows the employer that you've identified a weakness. Um, it doesn't have to be related to the job, but if you can relate it to the position, that would be great. Um, another thing you can do if you're going for, let's say, a programming language or you're a software developer, you can talk about a language that isn't relevant to the job, but you can feel that you can say, look, I was doing freelance work while I was at university and there was a lot of demand for, you know, I don't know, PHP. So I found that was quite a weakness of mine. So I identified that and I worked on it nonstop um, and I was able to actually, you know, complete a few projects that were purely PHP. Um, I thought that was one of my weaknesses and it's something that I still regard as a weakness compared to my other programming languages. However, I've worked on it and I cont will continue to work on it. So again, it shows a bit more substance to the answer and it shows that you can actually identify your weaknesses. And let's be honest, we all have weaknesses. Um, it's just wording the question in the way they want and honesty is always the best policy with this sort of answer.